Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with um, actually what ended up being a whole Valentine's Day uh, series. And I wasn't really planning to go that way, but this is the first year that I've actually had decor that sort of matched my uh, Valentine's Day. And so I've been playing with all the colors that you see up here and trying to find different ways to go ahead and put them together. So I thought we'd go ahead and get started. And um, did start with the Super Goop Glow Oil and SPF 50 and then also the Super Stay uh, C Plus by Maybelline in 102. So that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and mix a whole bunch of different blushes together. So um, I do have on, let's see, the Peach Bum as the base and that's the from Wet n Wild. And apparently these are coming up out a new packaging here pretty soon and then um, did go ahead and get use the Dancing Queen by Colourpop as well and so had both of these on this uh, base and then I sort of took a different direction and so I added in Alice in Wonderland Talk to the Flowers this is again by Wet n Wild and this came out this fall I went ahead and used both of these as far as going ahead and doing blush. And then as far as highlighter, I went with a couple of different highlighters. Again, Wet n Wild, the Alice in Wonderland collection. And I used uh, this and I mixed all the colors together. And then I did actually uh, get out the Scooby-Doo and this is the a highlighter from Glamlight. You can get it on the Glamlight website and it is holographic so it has the scary guys and then it goes back to Shaggy and Scooby. And um, I did go ahead and use the top one on or the top highlighter. This one actually shifts pink and so that's what I have on right now. This bottom highlighter actually shifts gold and it's all glitter but this one that I have on right now is not all glitter um, it's more of a well it's still a high shine uh, highlighter but it isn't all glitter like this one down in the bottom is so that's what I have on there they go ahead and use the Sky High by Maybelline and the primer and the mascara and then also the Essence Thick and Wow in the Caramel Blonde. So I have those on as well. And as far as what I did for the lips today, I used the Dazed uh, by Colourpop and then I went ahead and put some of the NYX Fat Oil on top of it. So that's what I have on there. And I've been playing with uh, the Chucky Crazy in Love palette. So I did just pick this up. It's by Glamlight. You can get it on the Glamlight website. And uh, it's actually been out for about a year. Again, the holographic packaging, which is really fun. And I wanted to go ahead and get a really dark palette for the for winter that I could go ahead and mix with other palettes to go ahead and um, get some fun looks that aren't necessarily I, I just kind of got at a loss about what to do um, I I find myself going or doing makeup born seasons so I'll do winter spring summer fall sort of thing and when I get to winter I kind of don't know exactly where to go so um, I thought this palette being so dark would actually gives me some inspiration on what to do so today I went ahead and put this up in the outer corner and then I did go ahead and put um, Let's see, some of the gray here right under the brow. And I went ahead and used some of this color as well. And I did go ahead and use this on the outer corner. Let's see, as far as what I did for eyeliner, no, use the ColourPop for eyeliner. So, um, and then as far as what I did for the actual pop, and it is, oops, yeah. Yeah, I'm dropping things again. So that was me causing the camera to shake. Sorry about that. 
Um, I did go ahead and use one of the Luxy um, eyeshadows, one of their Auroras, and these are going to be the multi-chromes. This one is in Red Hot, and so that's what I have on the actual lid itself, and it's a really pretty color. It's, um, well, this is the way that it kind of worked out. So this was more of what I was wanting to do as far as going ahead and mixing the Crazy in Love palette. Um, really wanted to go ahead and get some high sparkle, high glitter, uh, multi-chrome looks and go ahead and use the Crazy in Love as the base to go ahead and do that. And so in that way, uh, this palette is really working out for me and giving me a base to start from as far as doing some winter looks. And um, so I'm really enjoying this palette. Uh, the Luxy, and I always call them Loxy for some reason. Sorry about that. Um, I have another order in with them because their single eyeshadows are just so much fun. And the Auroras are going to be their multi chromes and they have shimmers. And they had a huge sale on. There's not much left. I think they were just about sold out of the whole website when I was there last time. So good for you. And, um, I think probably that's the whole look other than the finishing powder that I went ahead and used as a Better Glow Translucent from Physician's Formula. And so that's what I have on as far as, uh, yeah, as far as my finishing powder today. And I think it turned out really fun. It actually turned out to have a lot of shimmer. So, um, yeah, and it looks very glittery, and it has a pink and orange shift to it. And so, yeah, it's a dark, smoky look, but with a lot of glitter on the lid. And so I think it turned out really fun. And um, I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you later.